What's up guys, go back to another video where we just got the book of Boba Fett episode 4 and it was so good and we got to see more of uh, Boba Fett's flashbacks and, and especially uh, the chemistry and, and, and like more of Boba and Fennec especially like uh, of how, how they met and, and the chemistry is so good in, in, in this episode and especially that, that ending that has like a certain theme in it which definitely has like a certain character like coming within the next like, couple episodes like in, in, in the show and probably in like few future episodes as well and, and as we get more and more into the show as well. So in this video, this will be my my, my any explain for the Book of Boba Fett episode four. But if you have not seen any episode, this is going to be a spoiler warning. If you're trying to avoid all my major spoilers for Boba Fett episode four, you should probably click away now and go back to this video after you've seen the episode. But if you're still here and you don't care, let's get into it. So episode 4 of opens up with the healing pod of Boba Fett's healing pod and as we can see he's going through some some more flashbacks uh, of him in his uh, Tuscan Raiders outfit and that uh, he's going through you know the desert and then he spots his little you know the headquarters to try and get get a ship back where he tries to target out tar and hunt down uh, one of the guards that is probably guarding the, you know, the ship and what 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 they saying that as I like, turn too many guards, I mean, mean like he'll come back and, and like get a ship. And then we see Boba eating a, his dinner, and, and then he, he spots a, a, an explosion. And, and then Roger he he walks up to the, the beach to, to find out like who this person was and, and who got shot. And he points his gun to you know Fennec Shan, uh, which uh, probably this is probably like a flashback of where him and Fennec met, met for the first time. So this is probably the the, the episode. Uh, where we're gonna see more of a Boba Fett's backstory of how he met the Fennec. Then he, he takes her like to, to, to like a place uh, of like so someone like uh, that helps the Fennec like from leukemia from from, from dying and that's so Boba found her. Then we get to see him and Fennec interact and we get to see more of the chemistry in this episode and then Fennec asks Boba Fed, who are you? And then Boba responds by saying, I am Boba Fed, but then Fennec says Boba Fed is dead and and then he responds with Boba by saying he, he was left on the stands of Tatooine referring to Return of the Je Jedi Whip and Han Solo pushed him in, into that pit and then he, he, he mentioned what he was rescued by the, the Sand People. This was referring to back in, in episode 1 what he was rescued by you know the Tuscan Raiders and, and he was taken in captivity in, in, in their campground. And now with Boba, he has his Fennec to go with him on, on like a mission and that is to recover his, his gunship and like that is in Jabba the Hutt's palace and then Fennec agrees and, and then they go to the palace where we see Fennec to try to hunt down some of the guards and, and then when uh, Boba Fett says there's too many guards and then we see Fennec will pull out like a drone camera like, a, like a, from, from, from her gun and, and then like she shows the, the, the drone camera off to a, like the, the palace to go look for you know the gunship. Then we see Boba saying farewell to the, the band, that, like the one who's been carrying him around like, and everywhere. And then then Boba and Fennec discuss how they're gonna recover the gunship. And then we hear and then Boba mentions that he how he's gonna kill you know the pig that I double crossed him and, and take his throne. And this is probably referring to the the Mandalorian like he sees he, he sees the two Boba's credit scene where we see Boba Fett and Fennec taking over Jabba the Hutt's palace. And then we, 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 we saw like a Boba Fett like taking out a hut so that he could take over the, the throne on Tatooine. And with these flashbacks, this must be before the events of The Mandalorian Season 2 where we saw Boba Fett coming up at like The Mandalorian and Gugu and this must be before Boba Fett took, took over the, the palace on Tatooine. And with Boba mentioning that he has a few scores to settle, he harvests his gunship over the, the desert and starts killing the, the Neko Biker gang. And now this is probably the, the same gang with, with that as a symbol. And, and now with, with, with this gang, this is the, the, the same assassins that, that, that attacked Boba and Fennec back on Tatooine. And with, with, with this game, this is the, you know, the same game that, that burned down the, the Tuscan Raiders' campground and, and killed the, the Tuscan Raiders as well, as well as, as, as Assassin's as, as a symbol, and it was right for a Boba Fett to kill that gang. Next, Boba shows Fennec the, uh, the pit that uh, he, he was in for many years, and then he, he says that he needs to go in there to recover his armor, and then he sends uh, you know, the, 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 gun, the gunship in, into the pit, and then they realize that there's an actual Sam monster in there, and then the Sam monster like, uh, tries to attack him, and then like, Fennec like, uh, like throws a, a grenade at, at the sand monster and then blowing it up and then later, re later realizing that, that like Boba's armor is not in there, it, it was all just junk. 
And then we are of Fennec saying to, to Boba, a living with the Tusken Raiders must have made you soft. But then Boba, Boba responds by saying that living with the Tusken Raiders has not made him soft, it, it has made him strong. And then we see Boba back in, in, in his healing pod. And then we get another flashback of, of Boba Fett taking over Jabba, uh, Jabba the Hutt's palace. And then he, he took over the, the throne like he did at the end of the Mandalorian season two. And now with, with this away all the, all the flashbacks and with that flashback of him taking over the, the throne, maybe this has like some c c connections to the, the, the Mandalorian. And then we see the Black Crusading again, and, and then he sees like us, like us, some people like, playing poker and then like winning, and then it, it somehow triggers the Black Crusading to, to go and attack and kill them. And, and then as he is trying to to, to attack them, and, and, and then so someone tries to tell him not, not to, to do it, and then, then like he's like a champion and he's won like many trophies, and, and then like someone like this covers, remembers like his years in, in the pit, and then he puts him down, and, and then it, it was Bo Boba Fett's idea, and then he somehow like. like recruits the Black Crusading to come and work for Boba Fett and which means the Black Crusading is now joining Boba Fett now on his missions. Then with this ending we see Boba and Fennec sitting at a table together with all the other creatures and then they're discussing coming up with a plan for Boba Fett to take over the palace under Jabba the Hutt and to take over the throne and with all the other creatures that were acquired well under Jabba the Hutt and with the Fennec saying that they will again if they listen to Boba Fett and with this the creatures are now following Boba Fett's mission and his proposal to take over the throne and take over the palace under Jabba the Hutt on Tatooine. And then uh, Boba and Fennec sending, sending all the other creatures out to, to their mission and uh, as he is sending them out, uh, as like uh, the episode ends, we, we, we can hear like a, a little theme at the end. This is the, the, the Mandalorian theme as we, as we heard in, in the Mandalorian in the Disney Plus series. And now w w with this theme playing at, at the end of, of this episode, we, we, we could see in the next couple episodes or in the next episode, the, the, the return of the Mandalorian and Grogu as well, as well, but because with the book of Boba Bo Fett, it, it might like connect directly to uh, the Mandalorian since season three, and that's why we hear uh, the, the Mandalorian theme at the end of, uh, of episode four. And with episode four, we, we, we did see we did we did see a lot of chemistry between um, Boba and, and Fennec as they are uh, discussing it together and how Boba was telling Fennec her, her backstory, and, and then like uh, they were discussing a plan on, on how like, Boba Fennec was going to take over the, the palace under Tatooine and take over the, the throne. And those were all just like Boba Fett's flashbacks. And now what with, with that ending that has the Mandalorian theme in it, this is probably a setup for the, the Mandalorian to come in. So so the Mandalorian is definitely coming in. The Book of Boba Fett are probably making an appearance as well with, with that theme as well. So, so yeah, I'm very lot looking forward to what's coming within the next like, like few future episodes of the Book of Boba Fett as we get into like a leading to the Sunday much bigger though in the show. So yeah, I can't wait for, for, for more and I can't wait to see if uh, the Mandalorian does make an appearance in the Book of Boba Fett probably in the next episode as well. So if that's gonna be it for this video, let me your thoughts in the comments down below and what are your thoughts on the, the Book of Boba Fett at episode 4? Give me a rating between 1 out of 10. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for live updates. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.